Hi, I'm David Mead, uh, Senior Editor at Creative Communications, and I'm here today with Stephanie Hublin, uh, one of our authors, and uh, this season for Advent, she's written our new prayer book, Hope of Christmas Past, Present, and Yet to Come. Hello, Stephanie. I wanted to thank you for being with us today. Uh, tell us a little bit about what this, uh, this book is, is about. Well, it's based on a Christmas carol, and the prayers in it are prayers that all have a connection with the Christmas carol and with the Bible. So as you read through them, you can notice the little connections that were made, and then you can use them to even just jumpstart your own prayers and um, go from there. And what kind of background? I know Dickens was probably a little bit, but is that uh, any other kind of background research? Well, a little bit. Um, just a few years ago, I was teaching language arts for middle school kids, and we studied A Christmas Carol. Okay. And then we, we went to a live production of it, which is amazing. And then, you know, the Muppets version of the movie, I didn't use that to get ready for this. <laughs> it, it would be kind of fun, but um, I did go home then, and I also uh, watched our movie version game at home, and I just had a yellow pad out, and I'm taking notes and just trying to find connections as I went. That's great. That's great. What? What inspires you in your writing? I know this is probably the sixth or seventh project you've done for us. What kind of inspiration do you draw upon when you are doing your writing in general? Well, I usually just pray <laughs> and read the Bible and start typing and see what happens. And sometimes I have to do a little more editing than other times, but honestly, I just kind of start and pray that God will guide my words and see what happens and then sometimes yeah I have to do a lot of editing as well but it seems to turn out. Well we're very happy with it and as people use this prayer book we have other booklets in our collection uh, that follow the Dickens theme. For this prayer book what is your hope for the people that, that use your prayer book? Well I'm hoping two things. One is that they see the little connections to a Christmas Carol. Some of them are kind of subtle so you might have to think a little and it's all right. But mostly I'm hoping that they use this to get started. So you get the prayer out, and I've done this with written prayers too. You start reading what's on the page and it focuses your mind. And then you just start talking to God. So after I read a, a prayer like this, I would just keep talking to God and, and see how far it goes. So I want them to start a conversation with God. That's great. That's wonderful. Well, thank you for sharing you. with us, and we're so happy that you've joined us today. Thanks. Thanks.